Mark returned to the theatre school that had launched him as a talented actor, eager to reunite with Patricia, his former flame. He couldn't help but wonder what had happened to the talented young woman who had captivated everyone in the past. However, the surprise that awaited him was overwhelming, as fate had been relentless with Patricia, leading her down unexpected and challenging paths. Hello, my friends. I am Linda, and this is the Linda's Stories channel. I hope you enjoy this story. Mark was the youngest son in a family with three children, but his presence always seemed to dissolve into the shadows compared to his older brothers, who radiated confidence and bravery. Wherever they stepped, fitting in was immediate, friendships were made and eyes turned towards them. Meanwhile, Mark carried with him an introspective personality that kept him constantly embarrassed and uncomfortable in his own skin. Mark tried his best to go unnoticed wherever he went, as if he were just a shadow wandering on the margins of his brother's lives. He did not seek the attention of others, unlike his brothers who seemed to naturally attract it. He always carried a book with him, his safe haven and a window into a fantasy world that offered an escape from the pressures of reality. Mark's parents began to notice more and more that their son was closing himself off in his own world, worried that this introspection could harm his future. They saw the need to help him develop social skills and feel more at ease in the presence of others. With this goal in mind, they made an important decision. They decided to enrol Mark in theatre classes, believing that this would be an ideal way to help him relax around other people and learn to expose himself. Reluctantly, Mark argued, but Mom, he said with a touch of uncertainty in his voice, I'm happy with my books. I really don't think I need many friends. What if instead we adopted a dog? That way, I'd have company all the time and could talk to him. No, Mark's mother smiled affectionately as she looked at her son. Mark, she began tenderly, we love that you enjoy the company of books so much, but life also happens outside of them. We want to give you the necessary tools so that you can grow and enjoy everything this world has to offer. On the first day of theatre class, Mark was so nervous that his hands were trembling and his feet seemed to sweat more than ever. An insistent knot in his stomach had accompanied him since he woke up in the morning. Upon entering the room, Mark was greeted by a group of colleagues who were already chatting and laughing, sharing stories and experiences. The drama teacher, a friendly man with a welcoming smile, noticed Mark's nervousness and approached him. With kind and encouraging words, the teacher tried to reassure him and showed him that the theatre room was a place where everyone was there to learn and grow together. By the end of the first class, Mark realised that despite his initial nervousness, he had survived his first day of theatre. He began to believe that, just like in the books he loved, this new world could also offer incredible stories and adventures. As days went by, Mark experienced a remarkable transformation in his life. The drama classes, which had initially made him nervous, started to reveal themselves as a journey of self-discovery. He gradually made new friends and his introspective personality gave way to a sense of confidence and security he had never experienced before. With each class, Mark felt more at ease wherever he went, as if he were uncovering a whole new world. His growing ease was evident, and his presence no longer went unnoticed. Around that time, the first rays of enchantment from passion began to surface in Mark. A special presence in his drama class, named Patricia, captured his attention. Patricia had long hair and charming eyes that seemed to shine with a light of their own. Mark harboured an innocent admiration for her. Patricia was a child star. She had already appeared in numerous television commercials and always landed the lead role whenever there were theatre productions. She seemed to be a natural talent. Everyone around her saw incredible potential in her and believed she would have a promising future in the entertainment world. The drama school was buzzing with activity as it was organising a major theatre production which would be open to the public at a prestigious theatre in the city. Everyone was excited about the event, and the energy was contagious. It would be a special moment to showcase the talent of the school and the young artists who attended it. Mark knew that his role in the play was not the lead, but this did not bother him at all. In fact, he was incredibly happy with the secondary role he had received. He still did not feel entirely confident being the centre of attention in something so grand. Instead, he was enthusiastic about playing his part and being a part of something so significant. On the day of the big performance, when everyone was nervous and anxious backstage, the unexpected happened. 
The lead actor, who was cast for the main role, suddenly fell ill and became unable to perform. Panic took over the backstage as the cast and production team scrambled to find a quick solution. With few alternatives, the play's director asked the crucial question, Does anyone here know the protagonist's lines? Silence filled the air for a moment, and then, timidly, Mark raised his hand. As an avid reader, he had not only read and memorised his own lines, but also knew the entire play by heart. His fellow cast members looked at him in surprise, while the director seemed a bit disappointed to have only Mark, that somewhat awkward and shy boy, as the only option to replace the lead role. The director looked at Mark with resignation and said, Well, it looks like we have our solution. Mark, you're the new protagonist. When the play began, Mark's family, who were anxiously seated in the audience, were surprised to see him taking on the main role. Until that moment, they only knew that Mark would have small parts in the performance. The unexpected turn of events left everyone in awe, but also filled them with a sense of pride and excitement. As the play unfolded, Mark and Patricia, despite never having rehearsed together, seemed to have a natural connection on stage. Their lines and gestures flowed harmoniously, showcasing the exceptional talent of the young actors. At the end of the performance, the audience erupted into a standing ovation. It was the first time Mark experienced that flood of emotions. The adrenaline, the applause and the sense of achievement washed over him, making him realise that this was what he wanted for the rest of his life. Mark's life followed exactly that path. From that unforgettable night on, he dived headfirst into the world of theatre and entertainment. He participated in various plays, TV commercials and television shows, honing his acting skills at every opportunity that arose. As he grew, Mark became an increasingly sought-after actor. His passion, dedication and natural talent made him stand out in the entertainment industry. As he entered adulthood, he had transformed into a handsome and charismatic man, attracting the attention of film and series productions. Offers for lead roles in films and series started to come in, and Mark was ready to face these new challenges. He proved to be a versatile and dedicated actor, capable of diving deep into any character given to him. His career was on the rise, and he became one of the most respected and sought-after names in the entertainment industry. With a stabilised and consolidated career, Mark had become a national celebrity. That's when he received a very special invitation. The theatre school where it all began had decided to organise a special event, the idea was to gather the actors who had graced those stages over the years for a night of tribute and inspiration. The event aimed to celebrate the achievements of former students while also motivating and encouraging the new talents who were just starting their journeys in the theatre. Mark accepted the invitation to the special event at the theatre school. He remembered his beginnings on those stages and how his life had changed extraordinarily since then. As he prepared for the event, Mark also thought about Patricia, the girl who had enchanted his heart in the past. He never had the opportunity to confess his feelings to her, and her memory still held a special place in his mind. At the beginning of his career, Mark had crossed paths with Patricia in auditions for productions and entertainment projects, but since then, he hadn't heard anything about her. This intrigued him, as Patricia possessed undeniable talent and a presence that was hard to forget. He wondered what had happened to her and why she hadn't continued her successful trajectory. Mark was filled with expectations as he arrived at the event, eager to find Patricia. As soon as he entered the venue, he was warmly and effusively welcomed with an emotional reception. His presence generated great excitement, after all. He was the most famous actor who had graced the stages of that theatre school. The night unfolded with a series of speeches, tributes and moving performances. Mark was happy to share his story and inspire the young actors, but at the same time, his heart longed to find Patricia among the many faces in the crowd. He scanned the place, trying to spot her among the attendees, but so far there was no sign of her. He felt deeply disappointed after talking to several people and discovering that no one knew what had happened to Patricia. The event didn't end too late, and Mark decided to relive the old times by going to a modest diner that he and the other theatre students used to frequent. He put on a cap, hoping to go unnoticed and enjoy a quiet meal, maintaining his anonymity. Sitting at the diner table, Mark, who still had the habit of always carrying a book with him, was immersed in his reading while savouring a sandwich. However, his attempt to go unnoticed was interrupted when a female voice addressed him. I know you, said the voice with a touch of recognition. Mark felt a chill of worry, 
thinking his disguise had been discovered. Aren't you that awkward boy who sweated buckets on the first day of theatre class and used to memorise everyone's lines? The woman continued in a good-humoured tone. When Mark looked up, he encountered something completely unexpected. It was Patricia, the young woman he had been searching for that night. Mark couldn't contain his surprise and joy upon seeing her. He put down the book and got up from the table, his eyes sparkling. Patricia, he murmured, almost as if he were incredulous. Patricia had transformed into a woman of natural and notable beauty. Her long hair fell over her shoulders, framing her face charmingly. The look that once shone with so much vivacity now seemed tired and sad, leaving a shadow of melancholy in her expression. Mark noticed this change in her gaze, and as they talked at the diner, he couldn't help but express his admiration and concern. I always wondered what happened to you, he said sincerely. You were so talented, Patricia. We all thought you would become a successful actress. She lowered her eyes for a moment before responding. She explained that she was indeed on the right path in her acting career, receiving invitations for auditions and promising projects. But a devastating disagreement with her manager was the turning point that triggered a series of negative events. She continued, explaining that her manager was acting in her name, receiving payments and closing contracts without her knowledge or consent. She never saw the money she should have received and her reputation in the entertainment industry was damaged due to these issues. As a result, Patricia saw her career slip through her fingers and could no longer get jobs in the acting world. Nowadays, Patricia lived as a guest in friends' houses without a steady job or stable profession. She dedicated her life to acting, but now found herself without a home of her own and with no clear prospects for the future. Mark and Patricia spent hours conversing that night. The diner had already closed, but they remained seated on the sidewalk, immersed in their conversations and memories. They reminisced about the old times, sharing laughs and stories as if no time had passed. The time came to say goodbye, but Mark felt he couldn't let Patricia's talent go to waste. Patricia, I'm about to start filming a new movie, and I know a lot of people in the entertainment industry. I'll talk to my manager and ask him to get you an audition for this new movie. I'm sure that with your talent, you will do very well. Mark, this means so much to me. I don't know how to thank you. Mark smiled warmly. You deserve it, Patricia. Let's make it happen. This could be the opportunity you've been waiting for to get back into the acting world and show your incredible talent to the world. Patricia indeed did exceptionally well in the audition Mark had helped her get, and she was selected for a supporting role in the new movie. Her talent did not go unnoticed. In no time, other job offers started to come in, and Patricia was back on the entertainment scene with renewed vigour. Mark and Patricia, who had met at the beginning of their careers, now had the opportunity to share the success of their talents. As Mark and Patricia worked together on exciting projects, something deeper began to grow between them. Besides sharing success in their careers, they began to share their lives. As Mark and Patricia's relationship developed, they became a hot couple in celebrity circles. The press and entertainment channels couldn't ignore the romance between two such brilliant and charismatic talents. It was a love story that captured the hearts of many and promised to continue enchanting the world. Mark's story, a shy boy with hidden talent that needed to be developed, is an inspiring reminder that many of us carry latent skills and passions that just need opportunities to flourish. Sometimes these talents are hidden under layers of shyness or self-doubt, waiting to be discovered and nurtured. Life is full of opportunities to try new things and challenge yourself. By doing so, we can surprise ourselves with what we are capable of achieving. If you enjoyed, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment with a number from 1 to 5 to let us know how much you liked the story. Also, watch the video that is currently on your screen. See you soon.